In the city of Toronto, the capital of Canada, in St. Peter's Parish Church, they're celebrating Good Friday. And among the congregation is Tammy Peterson, who is on the eve of her confirmation. It's been a moment, Tammy says, she's been building up to for five years. And after the service, we sit outside. We're sitting here at St. Peter's Parish in Toronto, and tomorrow you're being confirmed. I am. How are you feeling? I feel good. I feel, I don't know what's going to happen exactly, but I'm more emotional than I was. I went to, uh, did my first confession and uh, brought up some things that are recent that I was concerned about and a couple of things that have, oh, from my like teen years and I burst into tears. Uh. I burst into tears. More in, I think, gratitude and uh, gratitude, that kind of tears. Did a gratitude that I didn't understand before. Mm. And I've learned over the years of the years of not going to church because I didn't like the priest or I didn't like the location of the church or I, I didn't like the time of the service or whatever it was that would stop me from going. That 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 those are excuses that have nothing to do with the reason to go there. I'm there with the with God and I need to be, I just need to be present and show up, get down on my knees and say I'm here. Any doubts, Tommy? No. No doubts? No, none. No second thoughts? No second thoughts. This isn't like marriage. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not thinking, oh, am I doing the right thing? Is this really for me or? No, I'm not thinking that. I think that's not up to me to decide. The following day, people in Toronto are starting to celebrate the Easter weekend. But that morning, Tammy is at Holy Rosary Parish in Forest Hill, where she and around a dozen other converts are preparing for tonight's Easter vigil, when they will become Catholics. The bells will be ringing, and then there'll be the, the Gloria will be sung. So at that point, you'll be standing for that. And by her side is her sponsor, Queenie Yu, the woman who introduced Tammy to the faith after she was diagnosed with terminal cancer. I went to visit her with a rosary that had been blessed by Pope Francis, an image of Our Lady and the baby Jesus. Uh, I was just going to say hello. I didn't expect to later on come back and teach her how to pray the rosary and pray it with her for five weeks. I started seeing a bond develop between her and Our Lady between both mothers. And then we're gonna, we pray in silence. And she mentioned God. that her illness was a gift because through her illness, she found God and she couldn't have found him in any other way. Only God could write poetry with the events in our life. And then we'll go out into the world and bring the light of Christ uh, to those who do not yet know him. Exciting. And Tammy, you said that you were feeling more emotional than yeah. you were before, maybe than you thought you would be. Yeah. Why is that, do you think? I think that God's been whispering at me for a very long time to come His way. And it's taken me a long time to get this far. And so I think I'm, I think it's relief, maybe, to be here. Yeah, I think it's probably relief. It feels right. Yeah, it feels right. And at 8 p.m., in the dark, the Easter Vigil begins, led by Father Peter Tyrone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, on this most sacred night in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the Church calls upon her sons and daughters scattered throughout the world to come together to watch and pray. If we keep the memorial of the Lord's Paschal Solemnity in this way, listening to his word and celebrating his mysteries, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing his triumph over death and living with him in God. On one side of Tammy stands her sponsor, Queenie, and on the other side, her husband, Jordan Peterson, who says he has seen how her renewed faith has changed her life. I love my wife from the moment I laid eyes on her when I was a kid. And if you love someone, 
It hurts you when you see them deviate from the thing that draws you to them. And since she's pursued her efforts at enlightening herself more thoroughly, and this investigation of Catholicism has been key to that, she's much more who she is. And so it's great. It's great. It's ridiculously good. The best love story is the love story between a soul and God. And that's what we see tonight at her confirmation. It really can be eternal. Tammy Mary, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. And the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. You've just been confirmed. I have. How are you feeling? Jordan asked me if I felt like I was at home. I said, yeah, I feel like I'm at home.